of Tarot, and I'm going to get right into your reading. If you want to book a private reading, all my info is below, and you can book it through the links. Oh, wow. Okay, something great is happening here. So let me get a couple more cards out. Oops, here. Okay, for this one. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. Something so great is happening. Okay, I'm putting it. I know exactly why it went like that, but put it like that. And the High Priestess and the King of Fire is sticking his head out there, but we'll leave that alone. Um, but that's interesting. So could be about a connection happening, someone leaving a connection. Um, okay, but anyhow, we start with the four of swords here. Is this the four of swords? Yeah, it is the four of swords. It's also um, uh, relevantly connected to the hermit here. Um, insight that comes from meditation, the need to rest or take a vacation, allow yourself more time before making a decision, mental exhaustion, and get some sleep. So Leos, there's something that you were quite on guard about because this person has taken off their armor. See that there? And they're thinking about what they want here, right? Um, before making a decision. And I see that just because like we do have someone that made a decision and I do believe it's you. Um, really, really, really powerful decision, okay? And you've taken everything into account, including like what your dreams are. Okay, and I feel like this is a chest plaque. So maybe you were guarding your heart or had a, a shell over your heart or something like that. But there's definitely been growth here because you have the page of cups going into the knight of cups. Um, so that, oh my gosh, it's not even the page of cups. This is even, I don't know why I thought it was the page because it looks like a younger version of, oh, this is so beautiful, of this person. So what this is about is actually of you going within and giving yourself love. You're either you're like child self. There's something here. My ears ringing too. So a beautiful new emotional experience. Okay. This can talk about a romantic relationship or deepening friendship, awakening of a, of a awakening of a psychic ability or spiritual insight, a love letter, a new home. There is love coming in for you. You've also done some spiritual growth here and you are letting someone free. So here behind this Ace of Cups, there's a dolphin coming in, right? Here where this person is not in their emotion thinking, you know, this meditative thinking energy, there's another dolphin that is set free here. You've grown up. You're ready. You've, you've given yourself some sort of love and you're ready to release something and it's a big deal um so this talks about sensitive open-hearted inexperienced moody message regarding relationships new emotional experiences a romantic encounter social invitations or events high heightened psychic abilities again here but what the connection is about is you knowing that you love someone and guess what? It looks like you're actually leaving one situation to go to it. The way these cards came out was just to show um, that you are walking through a gate here and it's leading to this beautiful sunny energy, Leo, like your energy. This may be happening in your season, um, but more importantly, you're making a choice here. So let's see what it says. The illusion of entrapment, a lack of self-confidence that makes you feel helpless, being afraid to take action, take responsibility for your life now. Even though it's talking about you being afraid to take action, I feel like you really had a real strong armor on, okay? Like you had your guard up. With the sun, where you're going to take your action towards, talks about great joy and success, brilliant epiphanies that lead to magical opportunities, plan that work out perfectly and gratitude to the divine. So this is what I get. Okay, Leo, you have a decision to make or you had a decision to make because I believe you're choosing love. Um, you may have even been with someone since you were pretty young, possibly, or something like this um, that you have to let go of. The eight of swords for me is a unhappy relationship marriage card. This could be something you were kind of in denial about with the high priestess energy here. Um, and the queen of cups is under there. So you're literally elevating to your highest loving self, Leo, which is really interesting. And you are walking away 
uh, from something else is what I get with that Eight of Swords. So let's clarify all these cards and hopefully we'll get real clear. Four of Swords. Okay, that's coming out already. Um, so I am seeing, I just wanted to keep on shuffling there, the healing and the justice and the Ten of Wands here. So there really is um, something you had to make a very... I'm getting a loving decision about, to be honest. Maybe that's because you had to give yourself love, right? And to make this decision. So the Ace of Cups, which also has to do with the connection to the High Priestess, because it's a number two here and a number, it, it tells you what cards it's connected to. And we actually have the Lovers and the Ten of Cups. So... This is about giving yourself love for sure or having this balanced love, but it's also about a love situation ending. Now, normally I just take the top card and I'm going to do that here, um, but I'm just saying both scenarios there came out. So this really is the Ace of Cups with the love energy. I feel that there is someone you want to be with, but you would have to cut them to be with that. And it's really relevant that that sword is up there. I'm going to show you why momentarily. The Page of Cups. So this is about a new a new beginning in love um, and letting go of, of something else, freeing something else there, okay? And moving away from something else. And that is clarified by the Nine of Cups here. So that is about going for a wish, okay? Now, let's go to this Eight of Swords and I'm going to show you um, why this is so relevant. So we have the Three of Pentacles here, Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to put that away, but it was time for some sort of an interaction to end. And the lover's card, remember I said you had to sever something to get to real love or to get to another love, um, has that sword. And here's that sword. So the sword has been put down. The choice has been made to walk through that gate, to go towards or back to even, because it is an eight. Um, so going back to something that is very happy, so the Eight of Swords is clarified by the divorce energy or the energy of having to like go through the paperwork or make a plan to leave. And it's a number three too, right? And I feel um, it's related to the Empress, but it's actually not. It's related to the Hangman, the Eight of Swords. So that's interesting. The Sun is just the Sun. Coming from this dark spot, we have double nine energy here. That's very relevant, especially in this case. Um, so what I'm getting here with the Ten of Swords underneath is that the Anxiety situation is coming to an end because there's the sun shining bright and it looks like you're possibly um, not going to be single for long because you're going to be reconnecting with someone. And I mean, I guess it's going to lead to a ten of pentacles type energy here. Let's clarify the high priestess. What's going on here? We have the three of cups. Um, this is about a reunion. So you're going back to someone you're no longer going to be stressing out or having anxiety about this person. Let's pull two energy cards, one for you, one for this person you're going back to. So we have a mystic and the knight. And it's really cool because you guys both kind of have this same um, energy here. And I'm seeing like the mediator here, but that same blue energy and third party energy there as well. That's what I'm picking up. Um, yeah, I think you had to make a choice between two people. Look at someone had to make a choice here. So someone's coming up as a mystic reveals in, oh, sorry, revels an intimate union with the divine. This is about someone going, getting into um, a union is what I'm going to say. Let me see. Whatever it is, this is about someone who's very connected. And that's exactly what you had to do, most likely. Then we have the knight, loyalty, romance, and chivalry, a love of honor. I feel like that's who you're going to. A love of honor. This is someone you know. Well, obviously you know. That's why you have to make the decision. It's a magical connection, actually. It's very powerful. So, Leo, that is your beautiful reading. If you'd like to book a personal one, my info is below Everything's below there to check out. Otherwise, thank you so much for joining me um, for this beautiful message. There's like definitely a reunion happening of two very divine energies. And there's that apple. Remember the apple? Let me show you. Here you go. Yep, someone gave. It's a, actually a pomegranate, probably. 
because of the card. And yeah, this is a pomegranate too. Yeah, it's pomegranates. Um, this is a very special connection coming in. Okay, and you've done some growing. That's why you're able to make this decision and release, like whatever that, whoever that old person is or that old energy, it was time to let them go. You've grown out of it. You're going towards happiness. Bye for now.